You know, I love being active, and there is one sport that I've always watched just with awe. Bodybuilding, it has to be one of the most disciplined sports out there. It is, you know, and not only does it involve a physical transformation of the body, mm -hmm. but careful attention to diet, even lifestyle. Oh yeah, and I got the chance to head into the gym with a local woman who's also a mom and a big time bodybuilder to learn more about what it takes to compete. We are here at Maximus Gym, meeting up with a local bodybuilder who competes at a national level. This is Jeannie Trepke. <laughs> Hey, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for giving us some of your time. I know you're really busy. So how did you get started in your sport, Jeannie? Well, I've always liked physical fitness, but there was a girl that I seen at the gym that was, oh my God, she was a bodybuilder when I want to look like her. <laughs> so I pursued that. How long ago was that? 17 years ago. I just had my first baby and I did it. I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to stay in shape look good, you know, kind of stop, stop that aging process a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. you really made time. Yes, I did. Family. This is, um, Were you a working mom at that yes, time? Yes, I am a working mom. I still am a working mom, and I do this, I work, I train. It's my life. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So Jeannie, I know you're getting ready for nationals in Pittsburgh, so we're going to be here while you work. What is your training schedule like? Well, up until nationals, I'll probably be working five days, two days off. Um, that's usually like I'll actually train for two days and take a day off. But on those off days, I'll probably be doing posing, cardio, the little extra stuff that you need to prepare to yeah. be stage ready. Although I know a big part of your training schedule is actually working with another person. Oh, that would be my training partner, Zoom. And he's the man that pushes me the hardest to get through <laughs> all of this. I don't think without him I would be doing this. Yeah, but keeping you accountable, keeping yes, you at your workout. He certainly does. But I'm hoping I do the same for him. Oh, I bet. <laughs> what exactly is this you're doing right now? What do you work on? Um, this works my outside sweep of my quad. So they give you a kind of, well, they call it a sweep. So your legs kind of sweep out. And it's kind of, they kind of bow out. And this is what works that part of the muscle. And it works the little teardrop up my kneecap. So you have all the three separations in your leg. Jeannie, I gotta think that you have to have a ton of discipline to compete like you do. What is that like? How do you do it? Um, basically, I think one of the hardest things is social. Of course, you're gonna rearrange your social schedule a little bit because you're training. But to me, the, the most disciplined is the food, which we have here. Typical meal for you? Mm -hmm, typical meal. Chicken breast, um, broccoli. Well, people have to understand, you can't get food in a restaurant anywhere because it's usually sodium-based, mm -hmm. and you don't know what's in the food. It's not fresh. And if it's usually prepared, there's a little differently. So for me, when I go somewhere, I prepare a cooler, always have food with me because I have to eat like every two, two and a half hours. So I have to have food on me everywhere I go. I can't miss a meal because then my body will start shutting down. You have to keep it burning the whole time. So, so what would you miss the most that, that you're going to have after a big competition? A big cake. <laughs> <laughs> she is human. And how many days a week are you in the gym? Five days a week. Um, well, closer to the, the, the contest, we'll probably be more like seven, because I'm going to have to do some tanning, posing, extra things that you don't do as well with the training, but there's a few extra things you have to do to get in. So then I'll be in here almost seven days a week. It's been great learning a little bit more about bodybuilding, but there's one more thing I wanted to do with you okay. before we say goodbye. Okay. So 135 pounds? That's not so bad. This isn't so bad. Oh, looks like you caught me. I do need to spend a little more time with Jeannie, huh? She's so west. Nice. Mm, Can we have those Maybe guys just travel with you to the gym all the time? Because, you know, <laughs> then you'd look like you're just an amazing machine. Yeah, and... Oh. and they're there, the support you get at a gym, and she mentioned that, is really, really big. And you're kind of in this world of people that are as disciplined as you. You almost have to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we really do want to wish Jeannie luck because she's heading to the Nationals in Pittsburgh at the end of July. I ask, what is your advice for becoming a successful bodybuilder? And she says, a supportive gym, a dedicated training partner, and going to shows to 
keep inspiring you, and I think that's true of any sport, to kind of really watch the people mm -hmm. that you want to be like and you want to emulate and talk to them about what they do to be successful. I want to emulate you lifting 135 pounds like that with a couple guys on the end. With help. Uh -huh. A couple of guys on the end. We should note, absolutely. We should know that there are several different categories people can compete in outside of bodybuilding. There's bikini, figure, mm -hmm. physique, and fitness categories as well. Yeah, they're all at different levels. You know, Jeannie is at the top of it, going all out. She looks like she's at the top of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So thanks to Jeannie. Thanks to Maximus, Jim, for Good stuff. Uh, helping us out with that story. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.